government has no place and you can't base it on this because that will open up a slippery slope. Next. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That was powerful. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hi. Purpose. All right, guys, let's take a listen to this one, okay? Um, Everything that is happening right now is happening by design. Tonight, I want to show you the rainbow connections. And Kermit the Frog is not involved in this, although he probably gets some money from it. Do you remember when we were arguing back and forth about uh, gay marriage? And I've had the same opinion on gay marriage, I think, my whole life. It's no business of the government. It's no business of the government. Anybody should be able to marry whoever they want. There shouldn't be anything that involves the government on that. But we didn't argue that. Um, instead, we got into some weird argument and it ended up that love wins because Americans are compassionate people. But as we were standing here with our children, I know I've said for years, government has no place and you can't base it on this because that will open up a slippery slope. That, how dare you, this is about love. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. For the average person who is gay and wanted marriage, that's what it was about, but not the money. Notice what happened. Then anybody who made a wedding cake, you had to comply. Uh, if you took photographs, if you did flowers, you had to comply. Then the next thing was non-gender bathrooms. And I remember saying, how many people is this affecting at Target all over the country? Really? Then it was shout your abortion. Then Caitlyn Jenner, you had to say she was beautiful. Okay. Then non-gender started being talked about in school. It's not just the trans librarian that came somewhere up here. We started saying that there is no gender and that men can have babies. And then there was Leah Thomas. Everybody can be anything and compete. We've lost the difference between men and women. Now we're into serious sex education. I mean, not birds and bees stuff. I mean, actually... Toys that should be nowhere around kids, K through 12. The only thing left now is man boy love. Hmm. Or what are they calling it? Adult child uh, mm -hmm. attraction. That's coming. It's not about love. Hmm. It is, and it always has been, about infanticide, abortion on demand at any time, no gender. Mm -hmm. Because that kills the traditional family, it kills the parents, and in the end, the target is the Western culture. Mm. I'm going to show you how this has all been funded. Next. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That was powerful. Yeah. Guys, throwing your thoughts, your comments. In perspective, please. In perspective. Yeah, it's happening. We have seven people with us. If you're here for the first time, say welcome. hello. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah. Watch my phone. I'll let you start. Well, you asked me. So, wow. And listening to that, I typically have to listen to something twice to really be able to get it saturated into my mind and be able to really speak um, in response to it. Or I have to pause it all the way through, but I really wanted to hear it. Mm -hmm. to just hear his entire perspective. But I can appreciate what he said about this slippery slope. Mm -hmm. So they take this very general word yeah. and they start attaching all of these non-truths <laughs> to it and calling it, this is all part of love. And these are all how the, these are how the different forms of love can display themselves. You can choose not to have a gender. You can choose, um, um, you should have to have boy, girl bathrooms. You mm -hmm. have to, respect people's identity mm -hmm. of what they choose for themselves so yeah. now the core of it which was the man woman mm -hmm. the definitions of what a man and a woman are got lost in transition because they started with this love factor yeah that's not really true or reality mm -hmm. and then it just has it became a gray zone yeah yeah it's crazy you know but not listen i would love to listen to it a second time to really yeah we, to, we can we because can. it's just something that really needs to be Something like that needs to be thought out. 
-hmm. you know, you need to to pray on it and Mm -hmm. to think about it. So Mm -hmm. to just have like a reaction to that is pretty. Yeah. It's pretty quick for me personally, how I am. So do you want to listen to it one more time? Um, We have enough time. Yeah. Yeah. I have enough time. All right. Andy was saying something though. Go ahead, Andy. Andy said, are you able to pull it up? Hi, Andy. You're the first worst, first first person, first person to join us in the chat room. Boy, people lost or lost touch with reality. Just a reminder, Tom McDonald drops a new video this Friday, and I think these people who lost reality should have more God in their lives. Yeah, Amen. absolutely. I That's think right. this is where it, the lines have just been so great and so faded that they're going to be washed out mm-hmm. eventually. Yeah. It's a scary thing. It is. But yeah. It is. I'm actually releasing a little video tonight about uh, uh, some drag queen that are uh, going to schools. communities and oh, not right. just schools, yeah. but I've they're going to communities school, and they're actually were dancing and little boys and little, little girls were keep throwing money at them like a strip club mm-hmm. and parents were there clapping. So it's just like it shows that this slippery slope we already down that yeah that path and it yeah. seems to me that. It's more like a slip and slide. <laughs> Slipping, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, I mean, because I've seen this where they had um, at story time at school and it was drag queens mm. who were offering story time to the children. And wow. it's something to be said about hmm. how the very clear cut identity that we were born with and given by God yeah. has just been eradicated and extracted. Mm-hmm. And now we've put in this new way of living Mm -hmm. that they're just going to say like it's just supposed to be considered the norm so what Mm. was wrong with the past are they saying we weren't accepting of how people thought Mm. and felt Mm. is that an okay way i mean if i want to call a tree a Mm. car now and i want to call a car a tree Mm -hmm. do i just say this is what i feel this is what i want so now this is what it needs to change to Mm -hmm. if i get a whole bunch of people to petition with me it's crazy. I mean, yeah. what were your thoughts before we hear it again? No, let's hear it again, and then uh, I'll, I'll see okay. my thoughts while, while after that. Mm-hmm. One more time, guys. Everything that is happening right now is happening by design. Tonight, I want to show you the rainbow connections. And Kermit the Frog is not involved in this, although he probably gets some money from it. Do you remember when we were arguing back and forth about uh, gay marriage? And I've had the same opinion on gay marriage, I think, my whole life. It's no business of the government. It's no business of the government. Anybody should be able to marry whoever they want. There shouldn't be anything that involves the government on that. But we didn't argue that. Um, Instead, we got into some weird argument and it ended up that love wins because Americans are compassionate people. But as we were standing here with our children, I know I've said for years, government has no place and you can't base it on this because that will open up a slippery slope that how dare you this is about love no it's not yes it is no it's not yes it is for the average person who is gay and wanted marriage that's what it was about but not the money notice what happened then anybody who made a wedding cake you had to comply Uh, if you took photographs if you did flowers you had to comply then the next thing was non-gender bathrooms so I want to speak to that. I think that's that's there's more points that I wrote down before that. But I what I would speak to with what he's saying now, being that love wins. Mm-hmm. Now people are forced to love the way another mm-hmm. person that's thinks that's love, love should be displayed. Yeah. So why if the person who's creating making the wedding cake, they believe in love, but mm-hmm. they don't believe that's part of it. So now this is where this word love is, is all now. becomes this becomes this mm-hmm. overgeneralization. And now everyone has to conform with this mm-hmm. feeling because yeah. this isn't based on the principle of love. No. This is based on the feeling of love. Of course it is. So now... It's a perversion, per, uh, perversion yeah. love. Yeah, we know that. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, so if mm-hmm. you do anything involved in marital um, marriage ceremony, you have to not only do it for those people who define what 
the true marriage vows aren't were intended to be by God. Yeah. And those who are outside of that. So now you have to. And this is where the government involvement then they're forcing it. And this is why he's saying the government shouldn't period. That's just what it is. It's really do what you want to do, how business. you want to do it, but the government should not be able to do put any forced control into how it's done. Yeah. You want to go get married and do all those different things, but then how does that marriage certificate how is it upheld? This. So if if the government doesn't mm. didn't get involved. Yeah. And again, what I'm looking at is just like he said, he's gonna say at the end, this is an attack on the family. Absolutely. And also on yeah. Christian values. Yeah. Like when you're looking at all the nitty gritty of it, it can for some reason is somewhat very confusing, but it's really not confusing. It's confusing because they're using the word love. Yeah, be- because they're using yeah, <laughs> they're making it appeal love, and we live in a you know a free democratic society where people should have freedom to do as they as they please. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, the government touching a matter such as that when they will not touch a divorce case was strange to me. But again, it's like the attack is really again it's about f- destroying families. Yeah. It's about eradicating the human race. It's about uh, corrupting the image of God in men. Yeah. That is really what this is about. At the um, end of the day. At the end of the day. That's yeah. what's at the root of it. But everything else, yeah. like you said, the the label of, you know, the love and all that they're using is love just a is facade. Just, yeah, it can just yeah. be. Mm-hmm. You can attach it to anyone's decision. This yeah. is what I feel. This is yeah. what makes me move. This is my passion. Yeah. So this is who I love. Yeah. So then people say, oh, <laughs> you know, right? It's because crazy. we are compassionate people, like he said. Mm-hmm. We want people to, this is the land of the free. Yeah. Yeah. Freedom of choice. Well, the thing is, we never. I but mean, the government got involved. Yeah, the government and got involved. And now the that's government's what, that's forcing what people. That's what I'm saying. Like before, there's always been. So it's all gray. And none of it actually is right. It's none not of it works. Right. And the money, the money is behind it. So, you you know, the love of money is the root of all kind of evil. But the thing is, like people have been gay for a long time. Like we from the beginning of time, nobody really cares. Like uh, I've been around people that were gay; they just were gay and they stayed to themselves, and there were no problem. What's happening differently today is that they're in your face, they're in your space, they want your children, and they want to indoctrinate you. It's like this is they're taking it to a place now where they want you to comply with their emotion, no matter how corrupt that is. That is a problem. That's what we're looking at. So it's like they're going after to the very fabric of our morality. They are attacking Christian values and they are coming inside of Christians and just everybody's home. Your families, they want to take the nuclear family down. Like this is really Mm -hmm. a demonic attack against humanity Mm -hmm. as a whole. Mm -hmm. But it's being covered up with this love. With this word love. Yeah. Yeah. And so people move in feelings and emotions, which is, it's a hardcore fact that you cannot make decisions. You cannot base values. You cannot do anything on feelings because feelings are fleeting and they change. I I like what you said about how it's the infiltration. That's a problem. God is a God of love, which means he's also a God of choice. Mm -hmm. You can choose to live how you would like to live. Mm -hmm. But when you're trying to force your infiltration, force this mindset, force this view, Mm on other people that's where the problem comes Absolutely. and that's where it is if you mm-hmm. choose to do that that's not an issue but now you're going into the churches mm-hmm. and you're saying if you don't let me be sit in this seat and sit in this position with my current homosexual oh, status, right status that i claim practice. and i don't feel and i practice and i don't think there's an issue with it then this church could potentially be shut down ah, yeah discrimination discrimination mm-hmm. they're crying discrimination mm-hmm. so here comes the foundation of morals and values and ethics, mm-hmm. and it's just being, crum- yeah. it's just crumbling. So it's like it's crumbled. You, human, human rights is now trumping religious freedom to a point. Yeah. That's what you see happening. Yeah. It's like, they're not, they're not saying I want my rights and respect my rights. They're saying I want my rights and I'm putting it in your face. Yeah, I'm putting, not even, <laughs> it doesn't even, in your face, meaning... I get what you're saying. What it means is that you have to comply, comply and agree with it and agree. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. have to comply and, and not, even, you don't have to agree. You just have to comply. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't, yeah, yeah, you don't yeah, have yeah. to don't, agree, don't, don't, but don't you got to make me my cake. You have to marry me. Yeah, that's right. Don't. You have to, uh, allow this teacher to teach this to my children, mm-hmm. to your children. Mm-hmm. Um, library time, you yeah. have to let me you come in. Even if protest. you're the librarian, even if you're the CEO that says, I don't agree with that. Yeah. Well, library hour, we're having the drag queens come and they're going to be with the oh, children. That's actually a good point. You Do you get that. what I'm saying? Like, they don't have to agree, but you mm-hmm. have to comply. 
And that's the big difference. A lot of people don't agree with things. Mm -hmm. But when you force compliance, mm -hmm. that's, that's the issue. And I think you're right. And I think uh, if we Thank were... Thank you, Andy. Have a good night at work. All right, Andy. Take care. If people will just not say anything and just go along with the flow, I don't think... I think that's kind of what they're looking for. But it's the fact that people like ourselves, I myself and you, will rise, will raise our voice against this. Mm -hmm. They don't want the protest. Yeah. They don't want... Uh, anything to oppose that. If we would just sit back and say, it is what it is, I'm going to stay to myself and not, not bother with this, they would love that mm -hmm. because it works in their favor. So the more people raise their voice against it, that, it creates, and, this is, and I think exactly that's exactly what they don't want. And that's our ultimate goal when we have these conversations. Mm -hmm. It's called resolution. So what's happening in our local libraries? What are they mm -hmm. teaching in our local schools? Yeah. Um, thank you, Butch. I appreciate that because that's where I, I had switched what I said, but we'll, we'll come back to that. But... um. And hi. But so that's what it is. We're looking at we have to come together and stand up, even if you don't have children in school, mm -hmm. even if you're you never had kids or if you had grandparents or, or if you're a grandparent, no matter what, you have to start taking these steps to fight against it. Because the more we sit back mm. and just take what it is that they tell us we have to comply with and say that's messed up and mm. just have these conversations and don't move into action, then we're going to see more and more that slippery slope just becoming a reality in our very communities and it is very much so in our communities absolutely absolutely it's already there and now there was a video i was gonna take a look at where um it was like and again the drag queen that went and they were literally going after the children but anyway we can save that for another time because i know time is limited here but let's finish this and um yeah and I remember saying, how many people is this affecting at Target all over the country? Really? Then it was shout your abortion. Then Caitlyn Jenner, you had to say she was beautiful. Okay. Then non-gender started being talked about in school. It's not just the trans librarian that came somewhere up here. We started saying that there is no gender and that men can have babies. And then there was Leah Thomas. Everybody can be anything and compete. We've lost the difference between men and women. Now we're in. That's it. We've lost the difference between men and women. Yeah. They're intentionally doing that because like my husband said here, the, the more that the, the lines are faded, men don't take on the role that men are supposed to take on. Women don't assume the role that they're supposed to take on. It's an attack. There's just a fight and a division. Mm -hmm. It's an attack on the family unit. Mm -hmm. So now our children become more confused. Then we don't have people who are going to stand up and fight for themselves. And then we're going to have the to each his own world life, mm -hmm. lifestyle mm -hmm. that's just being promoted. Oh, to each his own, to each his own, to each his own. Yeah. And the more of that you have, the more once they start, because what's happening is with all these little changes mm -hmm. that we see in our face, there's big changes, I believe, happening behind us right. that are going to hit us like a ton of bricks, but they won't even know it Absolutely. because you've been so compliant with all mm -hmm. of these small, it's a slippery slope. big things mm -hmm. that are that, you know, they're basing off of the word love. Yeah, they're huge, but they they're not as big as what's coming. Of course, of if course that not. makes sense. Yeah. Being forced to comply mm, and being sorry. forced to conform. This was a well orchestrated deception. And I think this move started. And he said it was by design. It was by design. It was well thought. And I'm going to watch another video. Can we skip to another video? Because mm -hmm. I know we have a little bit of time here.